Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another episode of Control here on at your professional walkthrough channel with me, your host Max. So in the previous episode we started to do the first tasks towards lifting the lockdown of the NSC building and so I'm hoping on this episode we're going to be able to continue that and what I'm hoping for even more is that I will actually know where to go and I will not get lost. Uh, in case you're new to the channel, the link to the previous episode in case you've missed it or to the entire playlist will be actually featured in the video's description so you can go and check it out in case you are wondering uh, what the hell it is that I'm talking about. So now we are trying to come across NSC coolant pumps, that's what we cleared out. So now we need to find elevator, ventilation. Uh, where is it? NSC energy converters. Yeah, it looks like we already have even an infestation of the enemy over here. I'm not even sure how is that even possible. This place should be somehow controlled by the NSC agent, but it, it looks like we are running into some issues here. So we're going to start off by taking whatever we can in order to reduce the enemy's numbers here. And I'm going to use whatever I can. Apparently they are throwing the big guns at me right from the start. Oh, fudge, this is going to be bad. Uh, this flying guy is going to be lots of problems. I'm not sure if we can actually uh, defend ourselves against his telekinetic attacks like this. Uh, because this was like one of the first boss battles and getting hit by his projectiles is actually quite deadly So what I'm gonna try to do is try and deal as much damage to the enemy Without taking too much damage by myself. It's actually shocking that they are able to push out this much and Try to get to the power plant. It looks like they're really trying to get inside of whatever the heck they are keeping in so, I, I'm not really sure. The mystery of this building is even greater than the fact that people are actually subscribing to my channel. And I want to thank you all for that. <laughs> yeah, I know, that's the worst transition ever. Uh, so, we need to get to... Okay. I'm thinking maybe we will have to go through over there. Through the ventilation. Uh, is this the... These are the converters. Okay, I'm not really sure if this is the right way, though. Uh, the next one is locked. So this is the elevator. Okay. So there are the NSC agents. I'm really thinking maybe we need to go through over here. And maybe we're gonna reach it on, like, an upper floor or something. Okay, now we have the pistol. Oh, right, something is happening. Oh, this place is gonna come down. Well, hopefully it will not, okay? I'm quite sure these are all gonna just suddenly drop and make life difficult for me. Ah, how many of you are sp spamming in here? I want reinforcements too. Okay, I think we lost one of those energy boxes. Okay, and this is gonna be kind of problematic unless I will be able to toss these projectiles at the guy with the shield. I cannot really clear out this section, so let's try this. Let's try to get over here. Oh my god, they are able to shoot through that? How is that even possible? And I just lost like 2,000 of those weird bits. Okay, well... These are not your professional walkthroughs, so I'm gonna obviously die here. Uh, the issue is kind of... Uh, what the hell am I gonna do over there? Oh, come on! Why do I have to go all the way from here? But this means probably that the entire area where we were is gonna be infested yet again. And something is happening with the capture card. Usually, like, the uh, while I'm recording this and I'm monitoring the progress... Like, the recording seems all crispy, but right now, it's doing this weird stuff, so I'm literally freaking out. Because I don't know if the footage is gonna be okay or not. Uh, this is okay. 
So we need to go to the other section. I don't know if those enemies are going to be still there. Because why is it uh, fine for the NSC agents to like protect one of these things? And yeah, we went through the energy converters, right? Uh, let's try the shotgun. I mean, this is kind of a, like a tight spot to be squeezed I in. Like that sound. But if I get behind those bars, I'm, I'm kind of screwed here. He is a goner. Yeah, I'm gonna need to switch and back up a bit here because this is otherwise gonna turn into quite a mess. We're gonna spawn in that guy with the shield and I'm gonna have to do something dramatic here. Or drastic. And I swear I'm trying to be better at aiming, but it's just, uh... Well, there's a dispersion of the bullets. Okay, let's clear this place out. This should prevent more of the enemies to be spawning in. I hope. This looks like we have the power box connected, and this whole place... Yeah, like, we're gonna have to learn how the hell to clear out these things, because, uh... This is... Like, if we would try to come even close to this, and I do wonder if I can break this. If we go closer to these weird sections, it's uh, it's uh, really bad. Like, our health starts to get drained rather fast. So it's not the right thing for it's us to right do. Up. You need to fix it before the old big pants inside the plant has a shit fit. And the weirdest thing is that it literally looks like this game actually does have a uh, potential for stealth. So energy converters is where we are. And that's where we need to go. Like you can see that, okay, I think he officially spotted me because he's backing up. And uh, now all the units are actually doing that. So there is a potential for stealth. Seems like it. Until I screw up somehow. Okay, so let's try to back up. Uh, the shotgun seems to have quite the massive dispersion, so I'm not really sure if it's the most reliable strategy here. Can I grab anything and toss it into him? Projectile seems to be doing much more damage here, so I would rather stick to that. If I can. Okay, that took care of him. Oh my god, please let the footage be okay. It, it's just really gonna be kind of weird if we have like three episodes already, which were recorded and everything was great, and then suddenly it would just go all weird on me. But that's what usually happens with computers and such, so we never know. We never know. Okay, let's let's switch to this angle, and we're gonna eventually read through the notes yet again. Uh, there's one more guy, if I recall correctly, somewhere on that upper floor. And of course, they're gonna get reinforcements. Where are my reinforcements? Ah, damn it! That's the guy with the rocket launcher thingy. Uh, is he gonna pop up? Okay, so he decided to blow up his own cover. That was pretty damn stupid of him, but okay, I'm not here to judge. It's actually making the job a tiny bit easier for me. Okay, this is gonna let us reload. Now we need to find out where the hell am I supposed to go or what the hell is it that I'm supposed to do here. I keep hearing this weird whispering. And of course. I need to stay in cover. Love the fact that this uh, environment is so highly destructible. Really awesome feature of the game. Really, really, really awesome feature of the game. Because if you are hiding like behind a concrete wall and stuff, it still gets like damaged. You can see these chunks and bits flying off. I literally feel like it, the Ma Matrix movie or something. Really cool stuff. You usually don't see this much amount of destruction in uh, environment. 
So I'm really glad that Remedy has decided to do this. It, it really adds to the immersion of the overall game experience. Okay, we're gonna have to plug these suckers in. I'm not sure how many of them do I need to do. Uh, there's quite a lot of them over there. Uh, am I gonna be able to walk around with this weird thing? It's kind of depleting my power though, so I'm gonna have to be careful. Uh, this is gonna be the weirdest uh, loop that anyone has probably done so far. And... Okay, no. Uh, I need to learn how the hell to drop the item. Okay, so probably by pressing a different key than E. I did not really want to toss these uh, generators or what you call them. Because, uh, well, you kind of need them. So if there is other type of... Uh, items that you can use as projectiles especially on this guy who has the damn uh shield wow we were actually able to kill him with that crate that's awesome terrible aim terrible aim there come on and there we go is, is that it did, did we okay it looks like we still need to do one more somewhere NC control, uh, can we get over here? I do want to get this thing. I don't see a way there right now. I'm quite sure there has to be some sort of way for me to get there. Maybe I can climb up over here. Ah, okay. So it's just a symbol crawling over. Okay, and I forgot that there's a different key in order to open these things up. So let's just pretend like that did not happen. And now I need to find where to plug in. Okay, I don't see another one of these here. Uh, but there is like a scaffolding above. Am I supposed to get there or am I just missing something? Probably I'm missing something. Because there's quite a lot of these energy boxes. Or these fuse boxes. Okay, I think I just noticed it. Let's go lift the lockdown. So this is gonna help us out. Lift the internal override or the lockdown. Is this gonna get us to the area where we need to get to? Why is everyone just keeping secret or classified documents out in the open like this? Worst agency ever. Oh, fudge. This is gonna be heavily infested. Yep. Look at all of these guys. So many of them. Oh, fudge. That did not work out. Did he just snap out of the existence? What the hell was that? Did, did you just see that? He, he, he just vanished. Where did they all go? Is this some bug? There were like six of them. What, what, what the hell just happened? Am I supposed to lift this up somehow? I, I cannot seem to be able to interact with this spot, so... I'm really not sure what the hell just happened here. Sector elevator? Am I supposed to go through here? I'm quite sure I was supposed to do whatever was over there. Okay, it, it's right all over this damn place. We do have the clearance of level 2. Uh, is, is there anyone, anything besides documents, which should not be here? Okay, shield efficiency, that sounds interesting. Although, um, I'm not really sure how much I want to keep using the shield after this performance. Uh, ventilation, janitor's office, like seriously, I'm quite sure I have to cleanse that place, but I did not have the option. Okay, I'm not really sure what the hell is going on. Did I break the game somehow? Like, literally the enemies vanished. 
and you you can see all these weird bricks or wh whatever this is that's probably not supposed to be here so why can't i cleanse this place oh maybe because i need to Is it because uh, I went too far and it somehow, like, got the enemies back to the roof? I'm so confused with what's happening right now. This is probably some glitch, right? Well, at least I'm glad I was able to clear it out. Wait, you, you just inserted it? You did not try to spin it or anything? Okay, I should be taking snapshots of these places. I'm gonna need lots of good thumbnails. <laughs> I missed out That's that it. one with those the trees. Should be open now. I think it's time I told Emily why I'm here. The NSC coolant oh, pumps, good. pipe works, furnace chambers, we were there. Okay, uh, so I'm guessing we're gonna have to return to the upper floor since the lockdown has been lifted and we still cannot access this additional zone. For the love of God, I'm just really hoping that the footage is gonna be okay. That would be the worst thing ever. Because I'm not really sure how I would be able to recapture it. I would like probably have to start all over again or something. Uh, that would be just... Uh, well, I mean, the game is fun. But um, it's also kind of uh, screwing up uh, with my time. Because I have only certain amount that I can do. Uh, so this is where we are. Executive sector, research sector, maintenance sector. Uh, I think this one? Okay. Speak with Emily. Uh, where is Emily? Thank you for getting boardroom. What? Solution is even possible. Okay, let's see what's up. Jesse, you made it. Yep. And you lifted the internal lockdown. Let's talk. Listen, Emily. Screw it. Just tell her. I haven't been completely honest. I have a younger brother. Dylan. When we were kids, we found an old slide projector in Ordinary's landfill. The slides created... doorways to other places. Bad things happened. Came through. That's all she gets. The rest stays locked inside. But we found help. Through one of the doorways, we... met something. A being. A being? What kind of being? It's hard to describe, but it... She helped us. We managed to turn the projector off. The bad things that came through the doorways were gone. After that, your people came, tried to grab us. I ran away. They got Dylan. I left him behind. Bureau agents took your brother? Yes. You covered it up. No one believed me. I just want to find Dylan. I've been looking for him ever since. What happened to the slide projector? It sounds like another object of power. I thought you took it. The Bureau. Along with Dylan. I've never heard of it. But around here, I assume everything's classified. You know, I looked into the ordinary AWE case files after you mentioned it. Trench and Darling were both involved. 
a large area of the containment sector was reserved for it. The case hasn't been active for a long time. I have no idea if anything's still there. Can you tell me more about this being you found? Let's hope you two get along. She's been with me ever since ordinary. In my head. She led me to you. I call her... Polaris. As in, a guiding star. Did Polaris know about the Hiss? If she got you in here, in spite of the lockdown, she's very powerful. Which may help explain your test results. Your readings are incredible, Jesse. Now, cross-referencing them with the database, I found two matches in Darling's old classified files. Unfortunately, I can't access them beyond the file codes, but one was P6, referring to a prime candidate for a potential future bureau director. Uh, this was logged years ago. Dylan. Is that Dylan? The other match is on something called Hedron, which must be connected to these Hedron resonance amplifiers somehow. All I know is that Marshall went to the research sector to secure the HRA production after the his first attacked. So... Marshall seems like our best lead on Dylan. I need to go after her. How can I get to the research sector? Use my key card. The sector elevator will take you there. Ooh, clearance level three. Nice. Marshall is the next step. What Emily told me about ordinary, my powers being connected to things in the Bureau's past. I am so close to something. Do you feel it? Something's coming. We take turns to come for a visit. I helped you. You owe me now. And when time comes, I will come calling. Okay, uh... So I'm totally being creeped the hell out, but okay. Uh, let's take a look at what do we have access to. Uh, what is this? Reload speed. Uh, rate of fire. I don't think we need a faster reload speed. Okay, exclusive to spin. This seems like another variant of the weapon will eventually be unlocked. Exclusive to shatter. We, we can go with the reload speed. And over here, I think this is like our only tier 2 module. Personal modules, uh, launch energy cost, shield energy cost, launch energy cost. Yeah, I think we're gonna skip uh, or keep this one for now. Uh, missions. So, uh, major targets. What is this? Maintenance major targets. Go to the NSC energy converters. Okay. I'm not sure what is this time over here. Uh, old boys club find Marshall. Uh, Pope informs Jesse that Marshall went to the research sector to create more HRAs. Jesse believes Marshall may know more about Dylan. Okay, so I'm gonna probably go with the uh, major targets for now. We're, we're gonna return back to the converters and we're gonna see what's up and let's take a look at the, the unread documents. Okay, so uh, this we came across in the previous episode in case you have missed it. The link and uh, the link to the playlist will be featured there. So uh, troopers are meant to be the first agents to enter unknown AWE thresholds or any other Paranaturally hazardous situations, they are heavily armored and heavily armed in preparation for the worst. As a result of their role, his troopers have access to the heaviest armor and weaponry from the Bureau's armory, including military grain chain guns and grenade launchers, in addition to their already formidable FBC issued armor. The his resonance surrounding these entities is dense enough to stop bullets. It forces to engage one of these, but sure to make use of any available cover. Also note that the telekinetically talented enemy grenades can be a welcome source of ammunition. Refer to file reducted for full report. Okay, home safe tests. So 
Utilization of supernatural elements, munition testing on OOP-22, aka home safe. The safe object of power can produce a barrier using objects of material form. Its immediate vicinity, see OOP-22. Case file for more details. Bureau Rangers uh, were given permission to employ heavy weaponry against the per utilitarian bound to this object in order to gauge the barrier's du durability. Redacted and redacted velocity ammunition were tested with redacted results. Uh, testing will continue after redacted. The safe object of power is clearly a viable candidate for use in combat response scenarios, allowing per utilitarians to participate in altered engagements would be an adva uh, advantage worth considering. Okay, so that's how we are able to formulate the shield. And then we have four documents here. Uh, so Bureau of Control, Attention, Maintenance, Staff, and Object of Power escaped the Panopticon a couple weeks ago. And they want everyone to keep an eye out for it. So if anyone sees a merry-go-round horse zipping around the sector alert, me immediately. Do not try to contain. Sorry. Do not try to contain it on your own and definitely don't bind it to yourself. Your security chief. Book Club Low Pass. Okay, I'm not really sure if I need. These days, most of your novels interwine the coming of age story with either a contrived dystopian setting or a tragic romance unless you manage to do both in the story the protagonist and her love interest search for a core to a virus called the fix which is simultaneously killing her and spreading across the whole world okay i'm not really sure what this is claw complained the gross blockage down in the water system is back we dealt with that next game is wednesday Okay, so these are some really weird things. And hotline and... Uh... Okay, what is this? I think we already seen this one. I can honestly tell you I heard the same nothing. So if we would not have the subtitles, I, I would get absolutely nothing out of this. Okay, so let's see if we can actually go to the... Ooh, we can actually upgrade our abilities. That would be awesome. How many points do we have? We have 10. I was thinking uh, the launch damage. That's definitely something which I want to go into. Uh, what is this? Uh, plus 20% to energy. Yes, please. And let's go with the higher HP bar. Just because it's easy for me to get killed. Launch grenades and rockets back at the enemy. Now, that sounds like a lot of fun. Uh, launch damage. Um, what is this? Shield strength. Shield strength sounds awesome too. Uh, when released, shield propels debris at nearby enemy. This sounds awesome. We're gonna go with the launch explosives for now. Uh, hopefully that's gonna be something fun, but I definitely want to go into the the shield tech tree then Because if this is gonna allow us to use the shield to rush the enemy and and use it as a potential projectile Then why the hell not? Okay construct spin. So this seems like a brand new module which we can have and it looks like I require additional resources. Great. So the fact that I died is kind of a problem. And also we will require 13 additional ritual impulses. So I'm not really sure where to come across those. But we're going to have to take a look at this weapon and see if we can actually manage to do that. Okay. Okay. Uh, so I guess we're gonna go back with the elevator and we are gonna try to go I'm not really sure if in this map I can go to other floors. It doesn't seem like it's allowing me to so we're gonna go into the maintenance
And hopefully from here, we are going to be able to get to the NS NSC energy converters uh, without any sort of issue. Uh, I'm not sure if the area is going to be overrun with enemies. It seems to be glowing red for some reason. I cannot get there. And we did start from this region even last time. Uh, so my question is fast travel. Can we actually jump to here? It's, it's not really allowing me to do that. Wait, is that it? No. A little confused right now. Uh, energy converters. So let's teleport there in order to reduce the amount of time which I have to use on moving back and forth like a total dum-dum. Okay, so we need to go up uh, here. Wait, is there some... Oh my god, how did you guys reappear here? I thought I cleared you out. Let's let's try and test out this new power. Okay. I think we just killed what we were supposed to kill. But they're getting reinforcements, so... Oh my god, you cannot give shields to those things. That's not cool. Okay, I should just stop standing out in the open. Probably the most unrealistic thing ever. Okay, we're gonna have to be careful here. Uh, we're gonna have to reload. And if this fella... Nope. Oh, hold on, how did I just get like a duplicate item? I think I just discovered another bug or something, because... I pulled this, and it literally, like, or was it like some sort of skeleton, or what's happening here? I'm so confused right now. Okay, let's keep shooting. Low on ammo. We can keep using the concrete. Okay, I think we cleared out whatever this was meant to be. Not really sure how they were able to reappear here, but the funniest thing is that I just came across a whole bunch of those ritual pieces and bits which I need. Oh my god, how many of you guys are in here? Can a lady just get a moment to herself or, or something? I don't know, I cannot really relate. Okay, that was just horrible. Uh, low on energy. Beautiful. That, that did the trick. Okay, that was just really bad. I need to go... Wemo! Okay, let's switch back to the pistol. The pistol seems to be much more accurate. Oh my god, that's just way too many of you fellas. Okay, water tank to the rescue. I really don't want to be trying to catch those grenades right now. And this one item is just saving my ass. Are you gonna fire those rockets or grenades? I want to test out this new power of mine. Yeah, I need to grab something. This is quite heavily infested. I did not see this much of enemy uh, when I initially came in here. Or this many enemies. Okay, the problem is that the last dude over there is the one which we talked about in the briefing notes. These are the most heavily armed units, which have access to the biggest guns. And this will cause also lots of problems. Uh, I'm gonna need to put some distance in between me and him. And once he's done firing at me, I'm just gonna have to keep moving from cover to cover. I'm not really sure if the headshots are doing anything more damaging to him as of now. 
Okay, beautiful. So one great thing out of this whole engagement is that I actually came across quite a lot of those spiritual thingies. I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to call those modules. But I think we just finished off the side mission. Now, now these blue bits are meant for the health. I'm not really sure if I now have sufficient quantity to craft that spinner. It would uh, definitely help though. Probably. I'm not really sure if the spinner is like an assault rifle variant or a submachine gun. So it's, it's like you're holding an Uzi and it will just have a rapid fire. But it even looks now that the red light is gone. So is that good or was it just because of the lockdown that the red light was on? I want to find the agents and see uh, if they're going to tell us anything. So this is the spot. So down here should be the chief of the security. Packages and pipes see through. Crew feels a lot safer when you're around. Mm. Don't see anything new. Going. Right. You got a lockdown to lift. I already lifted the lockdown. So that's weird that the uh, notification doesn't somehow change. You can see those four guys over there are still floating. That's creepy as hell. Uh, okay, so fast travel, I guess. Uh, we should get to Central Executive. And from there, we're going to take the tr the train. We're going to take the elevator in order to get to the research section of this uh, place. So, uh, research parapsychology. Wait, wait, is that somewhere in here or are we going to find out in the elevator where exactly that is? Uh, research center. Okay, let's go over there and let's see what's waiting for us. So I'm actually kind of surprised that it, 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 we came across such an infestation of the enemies. And is this like when you sign up or you have to... Where I live, I never saw these types of machines where you would have to take a piece of paper and put it into the machine to like uh, print in or... or like cut out a small piece of paper or something in order to tell you that yeah you started to work at this time or you ended your shift at that time so yeah i, I don't know okay uh, so it looks like the professor is over here and uh, ritual division is completely blocked off with whatever is happening i'm looking at you mr tomasi so this is where the magic happens Anyway, I've been here for 24 years now. I've always been here. And, and through those years, we've made astonishing discoveries, authored studies of grave importance, and in all this work, there is one thing we know, and that's how little we truly know. Rest assured, we're committed to keep pushing the known laws and borders of reality, and to make the Bureau proud. So, welcome. Assuming you have the necessary clearance, and and do follow the safety protocols. Read the manual. Otherwise, bad things will happen. Okay. Research sector, huh? Home of the Bureau's mad scientists. Okay. Ah, oh, fudge. Uh, why can't we have a nice visit to the research bureau? Why do you guys have to make everything so goddamn difficult? This is gonna be such a nightmare for me to shoot them down. I'm just gonna spray and pray here for the optimal result. Problem is, there's more enemies spawning in, so I have to keep an eye out for that too. 
Yeah, he's gonna shoot that rocket at me, probably. Or try to do it. I'm not really sure how I will be able to catch it, though. Are these new types of enemies? They, they look slightly different, like, also... Well, not also, almost like if they wear a hazmat suit or something. Come on, shoot it! I want to try it. I want to try this new power of mine. I want to shoot that grenade back at you, fellas. Oh my god, I love this. And I totally missed. So, yeah, we can actually grab the grenade, which is totally awesome. Come on, come on. Oh my god, that's so awesome. That is so awesome. Oh my god, nope. Okay, the grenade, that was too risky at that point. Is there any documentation over here? Of course there is. There's literally secret documents or classified documents easily accessible to just about everyone. Uh, probably that is why the the janitor is such a weirdo because he has read all these files already or something. I'm not really sure. Yeah, these fellows definitely look different. So I'm quite sure we're gonna read about them somehow, somewhere, something. Okay, that did hurt a bit. I'm trying to go for those headshots, apparently there's an achievement for it. Uh, okay, nice chunk of health. Uh, dimensional research, that sounds nice, but I swear I heard more enemies spawn in, of course. Oh, there's quite a lot of you fellas. Okay, let's slow down with the fast or rapid fire. It's not really helping. Oh my god. Okay. Why are there so many of you? What is this? Bring your hiss to work day? Yep, and even more. Love the fact that if you do like a good hit on the enemy, they like stumble and start to fall down and try to collect themselves and such. That's just awesome. Remedy did an amazing job with this and this is literally freaking me the hell out. But I want to watch this in case there's something creepy. Is there something creepy? I I'm not sure. Cannot watch the video, so apparently we will not get a another episode of that weird cartoon which we saw a couple of episodes back. Like I said, the playlist in, is in the video's description. I kind of do need the views, so I'm not gonna shut up about it, probably. Okay, they're just way too far for me to effectively hit just about anything. I think I might get a hit over the last shot, but it's gonna be probably much more effective for me to close in the distance. Uh, is there anything inside of the shelter? Some of these were like literally infested with nothing but his. Okay, I wanna see what's inside. Now, my question is, if I would stay here and the doors would close, if the enemy can actually approach the bunker and if they can actually even potentially like get it open i wasn't aiming for him but i'm happy that counts as a headshot that was beautiful okay uh are these snipers seems to be some sort of weird sniper class i'm so glad that they have all these amazing weapons access to and all i gotta do is toss these cans of whatever Sit down. I really wanted to get that headshot in. We're gonna have to clear that out, but I also have to be careful with that sniper. Okay, and more of them. Oh, don't shoot those pieces. What did they do to you? Okay, things are blowing up. Things are escalating rather fast. 
quite a lot of them right now. So we're gonna have to be a bit more aggressive, I guess. I really wish I would have been able to grab that rocket or grenade. If you're gonna leave the cover, I'm gonna get you. Okay, he is a higher level. Junior agent, I'm not sure what does that mean, but he has a health bar. Which does not look like of a junior agent. So, we're gonna do this. Okay, really not letting him stand up though. Beautiful headshot. Is that gonna let me clear out whatever is happening over there? Or we are still blocked in here? Okay, we're gonna have to blow up these things. And they should help me clear out whatever is happening over there. Uh, what is it? Parapsychology. These are some really difficult names to pronounce. With my terrible English, this is just, uh... <laughs> Actually, the funniest thing is, I, I was on a job interview, and they told me I have really nice English. <laughs> I was laughing my ass off. Okay, they obviously do not want me to go over there. What is this? She's in trouble. I need to reach her. So it's obviously not gonna let me go through here. Wow, this is a complex map. I'm gonna get lost in here so many times. I'm, I'm just warning you ahead. So please be so kind and do not spoil this in the comment section for me because I'm really enjoying the game so far. I mean, I love Alan Wake from Remedy and I think this game is supposed to be in like the same universe or something. I'm not really sure, but... Okay, what the hell is that? Can we stealth our way in or pass them potentially? No, because something had to go all huffy and puffy and ruin the whole damn thing for me. Why did you have to do that? Okay, did the explosion help? Yeah, yeah, it did exactly what I was hoping for it to do. Okay, at least these snipers have pretty damn bad health. But they are getting more reinforcements. Oh, of course. Man, I would kill for a grenade. Ah, speaking of them. Wait, do the extinguishers actually blow up or do they just like foam up upon the impact? And therefore create a much more difficult place for the enemy to try and hit me from. Not sure what's his health bar from this distance. Uh, if you would be so kind as to fire the grenade at me, I would be really appreciated. Nice. Uh, can you give me another one? I said another one! Oh, fudge. I did not ask for a grenade. We did not talk grenades. Please follow the instruction provided to you by the user manual. Where are you? Nice. Run for the cover! Run, bitches! Yeah, I wasn't really aiming at him. I think something is underneath me. Like, right down here below. I cannot wait to read these new notes on these new agent types. Classes. Whatever am I supposed to call them. What the hell is that? Why do I feel like when I'm gonna free this thing, it's, it's gonna try to battle me? I'm so looking forward to that. And another secret document, because, uh, why not? What the hell are all these TVs? 
Yeah. See, this proves that commercials on YouTube are evil. Which brings us to today's sponsor, YouTube Premium. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. <laughs> I, I'm not sponsored by anyone. I, I, I don't even know if that's going to eventually be a possibility. Although, who knows? Who knows? We are progressing rather nicely with the channel, so... It's probably just a question of, like, maybe additional five more years of me trying to work hard on this channel. I don't know. I got plenty of ideas for the channel. That's another save point. And that's another bunch of documents which should not be out in the open. Okay. Is that a moon or... What, what the hell is that thing? It looks like an... I'm so confused with what I'm watching here. Okay, what do we have here? An early hypothesis was that the mindscape of the astral plane is subjective. But that was fast proven wrong. It's an actual place. Not a construct of the mind, even though it is with our minds that we enter and experience it. But then, one could argue that that's the case with all reality. We've been able to record footage of the astral plane by monitoring the brain activity of those experiencing it. That is the only concrete material that has come out of the astral plane expeditions. Uh, apart from one shocking exception. In the astral plane footage, we're always in the vicinity of the pyramid. We've concluded that this, not the entire plane, is what the board controls. We have glimpsed movement. Native species always in the distance, and yet, contact was made. We don't have footage of this, a technical malfunction, but when one of our astral knots returned, a brain cloud, an astral fugue, had hitchhiked a ride in his head. It ruptured out, killing the subject in question. It's a relentless predator, pursuing thoughts, minds, lethal to those the entity feeds on. Proper containment protocols are to be observed when dealing with it. Okay. Please, we know they are trying to take their job seriously. What the hell? I can't believe they keep that thing here. What thing? What well, that thing? I don't know what's that thing. It's like eating everything in the room. What the hell is it? Okay. So I have specific amount of time in order to clear this thing out. That's so awesome. This looks safe. Like, not at all. What does that do? Am I supposed to somehow get it in here? What's happening? Did I press it or did I not press it? I'm not sure if I contained it or not. Oh, come on! Did I do it? What was the bureau doing with that thing? I'm not sure what's that thing. Go to pneumatics. What's in pneumatics? Uh, I don't see that department, and it's showing me that I have like a limited amount of time. Uh, seriously, pneumatics. Okay. I think this is through where we came. Damn it! We need backup down here. Marshall, are you still there? Shit. Okay. We're so close. 
We need to hurry. Well, I need to hurry, that's one thing, but on the other side, this place is gonna be infested. What the hell is that? Like, I feel like they're getting all these new fancy toys and I'm stuck with uh, nothing new. Was I meant to shoot that weird thing? Because it looks like they're it's giving them some weird health boost. Come on, fire that weird grenade. I think that worked. Fire another one? Why aren't those guys shooting at me? Okay, why did I have to ask for that? Fire at me! It looks like it's healing them or something. Okay. D did I just get killed? How was I killed? That damn thing exploded at the corner of that concrete or something. I I'm not sure what the hell just happened here. Oh man, are we gonna have to go through these things again? So do I need to pick this up again? I don't want to watch it, but like we know what it is. I just want to have it like contained. Uh, this seems to be contained. Uh, so now we need to find Marshall. I have lost whatever was that side objective. I need to go through here. We have been able to contain whatever the hell that was. But now this room is just gonna be filled with a bunch of angry guys waiting to do god knows what. Uh, my question is... What happens if I start shooting at it? Okay, I think I have disabled it. Might have disabled it. Okay, now I have this definitely destroyed it. Come on. My aim is definitely not improving, that's for sure. I'm at least glad that the other ones are not shooting at me. Wait, where are these grenades coming from? It almost seemed like it fell from up. Okay. Don't bother standing up, I guess. Where the hell did that come from? Oh, okay. I see what you did there. Quite a lot of you fellas. Oh, come on. I'm gonna need to go down there in order to pick up some health. Oh, come on. It was almost there. Son of a biscuit. I keep losing the damn bits or what's it called? Ah. Uh. It's okay, we can get through this. It's just a little frustrating that I have to go all the way from here to reach that weird place over there and... Uh, uh, well, at least this thing has been contained. Am I gonna have to shoot that weird red globe again? Because I have not cleared out this weird place? Of course. Of course. They are already appearing right over there, but I don't want to be shooting at them if I don't have to. Okay, there I just got lucky that that projectile exploded on whatever it was that was blocking his view. But I might not be so lucky next time. So I'm gonna have to be careful here to not die yet again like a total dumbass. Okay, did not manage to reach all the way. Here, have your grenade. Enjoy it.
Okay, there we go, there we go, there we go. Our lovely lady is finally kicking some serious butt. It would be awesome if I would remember her name right now. No, you won't. No, you won't. I'm telling you that right about now. Okay, we're gonna have to clear out these guys in those chairs. Seriously, why won't you stand up? Did you see that? Those damn things can actually turn. Freaking guided grenade. Ain't that a load of BS? Okay, that took care of that guy, and now there's a guy in that chair. This is the worst hairdresser saloon ever. There, keep it. Okay, you guys are actually, like, tactically set up for grenades and everything. I'm actually kind of shocked. None of the AIs had the idea to walk up these damn stairs. Like, why would you not try and do that? It's like the first thing I would probably try to do. Uh, this will not let me pass. Which is great. Just great. Any secret documents over here since we are here? Of course there are. Of course. Classified and everything. Love it. Love it. Where the hell did you come from? I thought this place was empty. Okay, so we're gonna have to go up there, I'm assuming. Parapsychology. These doors are really creeping me the hell out. Okay, we took care of this guy. Okay, picking up bits and pieces. Lots of them here. Another classified document, because of course. And I did see them above. And that did not really work on that shield too much. Bad projectile, I guess. Okay, I think we just got a headshot with a planter. Ain't that fun? Yeah, your aim is really not improving, lady. Let's just keep shooting. Hope to get a critical. Beautiful. Oh, fudge. That was close. Got rid of that guy. Lots of bits and pieces. I'm assuming we're going to be able to clear this out now. episode is long enough already so i'm gonna cut it off here so yeah i did die a bunch of times but i'm like learning this game so it, it does have some of its flaws and kinks but i think we're gonna be able to eventually figure things out so if you did like the episode give it a big thumbs up check out the channel for more uploads as i publish videos on a weekly base and if you're not yet subscribed make sure to do so I'm going to wish you a pleasant rest of the day, and hopefully I will see you all in the comments in case you have some advice for me, or in the future uploads. Thank you for watching everyone, stay safe out there in the meantime, and bye bye for now. There are little concrete cracks and bullet holes from the weapon. This is such an awesome thing. 
It's so awesome. Of course, there are classified documents all over the damn place. <laughs> 